Hi, my name is Jeff Bale. I'm the Engineering Services Manager here at NTS Foxborough. Behind me uh, is this brand new 12,000 square foot facility uh, designed uh, to provide uh, not only additional services to our customer, but added capabilities to our customer and service base. So please come and join me for a walk through our brand new facility. Welcome to our brand new state-of-the-art EMI test facility. Uh, what we're looking at right here is our brand new state-of-the-art 10 meter chamber built by ETS Lindgren. Uh, we're currently performing a radiated susceptibility test uh, for a military product. As you can see, we're running the test automatically through uh, automation software, our totally integrated lab environment software, uh, commonly known as Tile. Uh, what Tile is, is a software program that allows us to control uh, in, in, independent pieces of equipment such as signal generators, spectrum analyzers, amplifiers, uh, what you may have uh, to perform that test accurately and repeatedly uh, over a period of time. In a minute you'll see uh, actually we're testing a militarized uh, Bobcat used for a uh, application overseas. This is inside our 10 meter chamber. The dimensions for this chamber are approximately 60 feet long, uh, 32 feet wide, and 28 feet high. Uh, it's a large Faraday cage uh, built with the highest quality by ETS Lindgren. Internally, that you can see the chamber is lined with uh, ferrite cones or, or ferrite tiles and anechoic material. The anechoic cones are approximately 48 inches in, in depth. Uh, and behind that are your quarter inch layer of ferrite material, all used to provide uh, reasonable uh, reflection absorption from electromagnetic waves produced inside the chamber. These are, uh, these are part of a uh, SVSWR kit that we bought by ETS uh, Lindgren to layer the floor of the 10 meter chamber as well as the 3 meter chamber to meet our SVSWR requirement for 61004-3. This is our DC battery bank, uh, mainly used for telecommunications testing. It's a series of series parallel matrix of batteries to perform or to produce minus 48 volts DC. Uh, this battery bank is capable of providing 3,000 amps for eight hours at minus 48 volts. So this is our three meter semi anechoic chamber. Uh, it's a little smaller than our brand new 10 meter, uh, but it's, it's used to perform commercial testing as well as mill standard and aerospace testing at distances from one up to three meters in, uh, in distance. Let's take a quick look inside. So we're inside the three meter chamber. Uh, as you can see, we're set up for a CE Mark FCC uh, rated emissions test. Uh, this measurement is made at approximately uh, 3 meter distance or 10 feet to the center of the turntable, uh, testing these small devices for emissions. Uh, we do have an isotropic heat field probe here for susceptibility testing, basically recording the level of field being produced from a corresponding antenna, uh, measuring the exposure level of the equipment under test. Okay, so these are our two mill standard hybrid uh, chambers built in coordination with ETS Lindgren as well as MTS. Each chamber consists of a, a, a workable area of 20 feet by 18 feet by 10 feet high. Uh, each chamber is equipped with a threshold of 4 feet wide by 8 feet high. So this is inside one of our mill chambers. Uh, as you can see, the chamber is lined with 24-inch pyramidal anechoic material used for uh, uh, absorption of electromagnetic waves per mill standard 461 as well as DO160. One of the unique features of this chamber is this back panel that you see here. Uh, when not used, it can be covered with anechoic material 
uh, but when needed, this panel can be removed, uh, which allows you access to the chamber next door. Uh, the benefit to that is it allows you to perform multi-platform testing, which would be you have a device uh, used in one area of a platform, such as the below decks area on an aircraft carrier, which could be connected to equipment that could be located topside. So this feed-through panel will allow you to have both pieces of equipment set up in either isolated chamber connected through the feed-through panel, but tested separately.